Hey guys, Terry Red here. Uh, this video, I just wanted to do a bit of a deeper dive into uh, what we've seen in terms of uh, the behind the scenes and uh, a small teaser trailer that surfaced for the Return to Silent Hill movie that is coming out possibly this year, maybe early next year. We don't know for sure. It just says coming soon, but you know, obviously with the Silent Hill 2 remake news all just coming out and all the new footage. This also has been coming out, so Silent Hill 2 has basically been all the talk over the last few days, you know, so I just wanted to dive into uh, what I've seen and what I've noticed as a Silent Hill fan who knows the, the game extremely well. Uh, so yeah, so we'll just watch the teaser trailer that came out after the behind the scenes and then we'll just go through the behind the scenes. So we'll just do that then. soon all right so we'll just uh quickly go through uh some of the details i've noticed there uh so i'm gonna be talking spoilers here most likely people who have seen or played the game you know and comparisons to the game so that you've been warned you know most likely some possible spoilers here so all right so obviously this is the opening the opening bathroom scene the very first thing you see in the game where james is kind of you know, checking his face, you know, in the mirror. And then one thing that you say about Gans, he always tries to recreate some of the iconic shots. And this is one of them. This is like the second shot you see in the game, you know, like, and it's exactly the same, like literal panning angle and everything. It's almost one, almost one for one. And then it shows him looking at interesting it shows him looking at uh his letter from mary uh in the bathroom there you know we never actually saw him take the letter out and look at it or anything like that in, in the original game i wonder if the remake will have anything like that but you know so it's it's interesting you know so let's just take a look back at that letter again so it looks like it's you know been worn out you know smudged in areas or whatnot uh you know and then Obviously, it stops at the very particular spot, you know, so it's, it's interesting. Now, this is almost identical, th this shot here. Uh, the one big difference that everyone's going to notice is it's a Mustang, a new modern Mustang, compared to the old, uh, I don't know if it's a Pontiac Ventura or whatever. It's a, it's a car from the 70s in the, the original uh game uh so but it, everything else here looks almost identical like the geez the bathroom looks the same you know this is fairly similar more closer to the new game actually uh and then you have uh, the same thing here like so this is actually similar to the new game uh compared to the old game actually and uh so you see him walking out here now what's interesting is so this confirms where this is taking place in we weren't sure if it's going to take place in the 80s or how this is going to work we don't really know how this is going to fit in in relation to the first movie because the thing is with the first movie uh the idea is that you know silent hill had coal mine fire many many years ago and it's been basically an abandoned town for like 30 plus years because of the coal fire burning underneath right you know so is this film basically kind of doing away with that and just pretending, you know, that's a different universe altogether, a different whatever, or it just didn't happen. Because, there, you know, I mean, that that film took place, well, roughly at 2006, if you will. You know what I mean? So, whereas this is taking place after 2006. 
So, you know what I mean? I wonder how they're going to explain all that I, or if they're just ignoring the first movie altogether. They're not tied into each other, obviously. That's a given, you know, just like the games weren't tied into each other. So we'll see how that's going to work out. So they're showing him going through the forest pathway, which is great. Like, you know, like a, a lot of the big iconic bits that I was wondering are there. Like the opening is going to be exactly the same. I wonder if they're going to have anything before what we just saw, or they're going to start right there in the bathroom. You know what I mean? I, I hope that's the case. I don't want filler. I don't want extra stuff. I just want, you know, the, the, the main important parts of the game to be there. There's going to be changes. That's fine, you know, but don't put extra stuff in there at the cost of important stuff from the game. But yeah, see, like they, they, they followed that. They had him following down uh, the, the, the path to the graveyard. Now, the graveyard obviously is not quite as, you know, walled in like it is in the game, but they just have it down by the lake. And I mean, that actually works, you know, for time purposes. That actually works out really well. So I, I actually like that. Oh, and we could see. I didn't see that the first time. That's got to be Angela right there, right? We're assuming. Assuming that's her same name. Hopefully he doesn't change the names of anyone. Now, that's him obviously looking. He's in the town looking around. Now... We see the one thing that is a little confusing. Uh, keep in mind, this is early production behind the scenes. This is not finished shots, everything, you know. The final film could look very different when they add effects, post-processing, post-production, all that kind of stuff, you know. But the one thing, two things I noticed, well, three things. One, the, or the Orpheum, or the movie theater, uh, shows Jacob's Ladder playing and... Uh, I'm not sure what the other one is. Uh, the Tenant, I think. Uh, but, you, you know, you can see Jacob's ladder there. Two, this looks something like a Taurus, a Ford Taurus, which, you know, we had those in the 90s as well, right? You know, uh, but the other thing, we have what looks like, I assume, ash all over everything. I, I'm assuming it's ash, which doesn't quite, like, while that ties in with the first movie's visual use of Ash, it doesn't make sense for the second game or the second movie because the whole point of the Ash was that was Alessa's, you know, nightmare. You know what I mean? Like she was burnt and, you know, so the Ash and the coal mine fire, all that is tied together. So for the first movie story, that makes sense. For the second game, I don't know how that really makes sense. You know, so I don't know. So that is obviously the underpass that uh, we see there uh, where he, in the old game, found the radio and originally had a monster there. Now, it looks like they're going to change that. But yeah, we're talking about this area here in the game where he would go in there, radio was there, and then the monster popped up there. You know, so I don't know. We'll see how that goes because there's some homeless person. It looks like a homeless person that's under there, which is interesting because how many people is he supposed to find there, right? I mean, it's not like the first movie where you had a bunch of people trapped there for because they're less trapped than there. In this case, you know, these are different people, right? So that's someone new, you know, that we di didn't see before. And that's obviously Maria. Now... You know, at first look, it's like, whoa, it kind of strikes you differently because, you know, she, I mean, the wig is fine. Like, you know, like obviously they're make, trying to make her match a little bit with the newer game as well, right? In some ways, not always, uh, you know. So, I mean, it, she looks fine. You know, I mean, like she looks like a more, you know, sexied up version of that same actress. You know what I mean? Like with a different hair and, you know, the, the more flirtatious outfit and uh, now she's wearing a jacket probably because it's cold <laughs> you know but yeah and so she seems to have a similar outfit to the original game not the new game which i talked about in my other video but it shows them obviously walking through the town this is angela now i don't know if i like the idea because it makes it look like she's someone who is either almost either homeless or you know hasn't been sleeping or who knows what, because it looks like her eyes are all red, uh, maybe from crying a lot. I don't know. But, you know, but I don't know why they gave her a dark uh, shirt. And for that matter, James's jacket is 
not the same 80s type jacket. It's a more modern leather jacket that uh, has a teal color to it. It's bluish green, you know, so it's not, you know, it's not quite the same. It's a little more suave, if you will. Now, this is obviously the famous uh, scene where he meets Laura, you know, on, on the wall. Now, the, the graffiti looks very similar. They even have the trash in the same spot, you know. But why the heck do they have him approaching from the right instead of the left side? If they're going to go to this effort, why would they just have him do the same, walk from the same side? The other thing is Laura has a long dress on. Now, that dress is pretty significant, and so I think I understand why. You know, it looks like a certain someone else's dress that actually you were supposed to find in this scene. You know what I mean? So we'll see how that's going to pan out, because this looks like the scene where you find a flashlight, right? And, well, we obviously know what scene this is. That's the scene where he stumbled, he, well, in the game, he stumbled upon Pyramid Head, and so then he freaked out, who, Pyramid Head, who's doing the, the funky, funky stuff with uh, the, the mannequin monsters there. So then he, James goes and hides in the closet, and he's peeking through the closet. So we obviously know what that is. Now, this is some kind of lying figure that was crawling under a car, it looks like, and down into a sewer, which is cool, because we never got to see that in the, the previous movie. That was kind of a big thing. Those little suckers would, you know, freak you out. They'd come out of a car out of nowhere and, you know, it scares the crap out of you. So it's kind of cool if they're showing that. Now this, I'm assuming, is the hospital or the hotel. Well, no, well, that's it depends on who's with him. Uh, but that's, uh, yeah, actually we don't know for sure what place that is. And this is uh, in the town with the other world now the other world visual is very different than it is in the silent hill 2 game you know in the silent hill 2 game you didn't have an other world in the town so to speak you just had darkness uh, I, that that was it it was literally just darkness uh you never had like silent hill 1 the game the other world taking over the whole town you, you only saw it like you know in places like the hospital or you know the hotel and other places uh so this is interesting they're obviously kind of going with a more aesthetic that's kind of in line with the first movie. So we'll see. I, I'm sure some people are going to be upset about that. I'm okay with it. I want to see this, actually. I wanted this in the first movie that we didn't actually get to see, you know, the town visually being taken over from the other world. So this is probably him running from building to building, you know. Uh, so we'll see. Like, maybe that's the apartments, you know. It sounds silly. That, that, maybe that's how they're connecting that. Who knows? Like, they shouldn't, but you never know. Like they, have, it's a, they can't do everything in the time frame that they have, so they're going to have to summarize some pieces quickly that make them go faster. Because, so, yeah, you can see him. You know, he's, he's running away from something there. Yeah, he, uh, you can definitely see. Like, you have the grates on the floor, similar to uh, the game and the first movie, actually. So we obviously know what scene this is. This is the apartment where he's trying to get the key and it looks like Laura's there and she's like, uh-uh. But then she hears something, it seems like. You know? So I think it's clear what they've done is they've combined two scenes together. The, instead of having the pyramid head appear behind the bars just standing in the distance early on in the game and then later on you get the key, I think they're throwing that both into one scene, which works, actually. I think this it, that actually works better, in my opinion, for a movie. You know, the way that will be paced better and for time reasons. Because see, and that's uh, James and Maria probably in the hospital uh, elevator. See, there's Laura. As I say, you can see Laura there. Uh, that's in the apartment on the other side. Yeah. So she probably grabbed the key and took off. <laughs> or, or, you know what I mean? Or, or maybe she just m was about to grab the key and uh, heard something and ran away because she was scared. Who knows what? And that's obviously, don't know if that's a hospital or not, but a, a crap load of nurses, just like in the first movie, coming after him. And does he have a steel pipe? It's bent, whatever it is, but it looks like it might be some kind of steel pipe. And oh, there, yep, we had that. What was that there? Yep. 
So that's clearly a combination of the scenes. You can see he was reaching for the key. Laura probably took off. And you got Pyramid Head coming in saying, no. And that also explains how the bars get bent open with that other screenshot we saw, that promotional screenshot. It was probably Pyramid Head causing the bars to bend. And then it looks like he's uh, throwing something from that underpass. So that he probably goes under there, and then on the other side is probably a lion figure. And he's got a he's like, what the freak? So he probably throws something at it. It's probably not going to be a wooden plank. Or, or, or it's going to be a piece of a wooden plank that he uses just once. You know what I mean? It's hard to tell. Eh, it might be a wooden plank. It's hard to tell what that is. And we got uh, an otherworld elevator somewhere. That's probably when they're in the hospital. Uh, James and Maria. Possibly going to the basement. That's probably how they're going to do that, maybe. They probably won't have the painting. Oh, oh, that was... Oh, got some uh, fast parts there. Hold on. All right, here. I'll just go like this. Elevator. Maria getting freaked out for some reason. I could I could speculate what that is. I'm not sure where that is. If that's the hotel or if that's the hospital. Like I oh I wonder if they're doing like the first movie where they're gonna have all the nurses blocking his passageway and then he gets past them to get to the end door, which is gonna be the truth at the end of the hotel. Who knows what, right? They have to summarize it's gonna be different, guys. It's gonna be different. Now this scene, I mean, we can assume what scene this is if it's a scene i hope it is you know a certain uh burning stairway scene i hope so yeah so there there you go so there's that and then we'll just do the behind the scenes i'm not gonna like you know uh listen to everything i'm just gonna watch everything as it goes i love how they do the the loading screen which you don't see on the PC very long because it loads so quickly. So he's going on about how he loves the first four games, which, I mean, hey, look, to me, the first four are my favorite, too. You know, I mean, I, lo I like all of them for different reasons, but the first four are my favorite for obvious reasons. And then they're doing the comparison there, you can see. And again, they're showing a... The opening of the game and then the opening here. Again, though, those are not final shots. It could look very different in the movie based on what they showed us, right? The first movie was the same. The, the trailer and the actual final movie look very different. Like, you know, the, the trailer was very bright. The tone was very different, very warm, whereas in the final, it was more cool. It was darkened and all that. Some of it better, some of it worse than the trailer. In terms of the post-processing, I wasn't happy with how they did everything. Okay, so this is interesting. So this is behind the scenes. So I'm assuming they built these sets as just like, you know, front pieces for to show the town street somewhere. Ah, I think this is like that first right turn in the town. I think that's what this is. Yeah, when he first gets into town, then he makes that right turn. And then, yeah, I think that's what this is probably going to be. And yep, and makes his way over here. And they got a green screen there. Yep. Interesting that they made it like a lower overpass, uh, underpass. Eh? I, I guess that's more realistic, but... And they have the same kind of van. Similar kind of van, I should say. Everything's covered in ash, though, which is interesting. And that's, I think, the actress playing Laura. I don't know if they made Laura a little older. Not the end of the world. I mean, you know, as long as she's a young, kind of bratty girl, that's all that really matters. Now, his hair. I'm fine with it now, but when I first saw it, you know, most of us are like, well, wait a minute, why do they have his, him with dark hair? You know, it's a good question. You know, like, you think they would have made it a little closer in hair color at least? You know, then it would have matched. Like, the hairstyle kind of threw me off at first, but I'm actually okay with it now. Uh, but the color could have been lightened up or something. You know what I mean? Not ridiculous, so it looks like a cosplayer or anything, but so here... You can see this is Laura. Uh, so she's wearing, again, a flowery dress. Again, 
maybe to have a more visual similarity to Mary, and maybe it connects to a certain other scene we see, and who knows what, you know, like, uh, I'm speculating, but that's my guess, instead of having her wear little girl clothes. Now that, I'm guessing, is at the hotel, or it's some other completely new scene, but it's all red, so who knows. Now, we obviously, those of us who played the game, know what this scene is. That's, uh, that's, uh, the... I can't remember the name of the damn the, the daddy monster uh, fight scene room. I can't remember what it's called. Abstract Daddy. Jesus. You know, where you beat Angela. You know what I mean? And uh, so, so I'm excited about that. Like, they've already confirmed so many things, which I'm extremely happy about. All the major scenes are kind of in there. The major ones. You know, like, they've got the opening being very similar. They've got the, the major parts of the apartment. They've got what may be the burning staircase scene, which I'm very happy about. And they've got the abstract daddy scene. So, because I was worried if they would even have Angela at all, but it's all been confirmed already. So this is awesome. Like I was worried because it has a shorter runtime than uh, the original movie. But it seems like they're jamming everything in there. I'm hoping they're just no filler, you know, just have all the good stuff. And this is obviously Angela looking into... The big mirror scene, you know, where she has the knife and she, James comes in and talks to her. And there you go. Now, I don't know if this guy's going to be Eddie or not. I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest, if this is Eddie. Like, you know, like just a big guy, you know, and he doesn't have to be one for one with the ball cap and all that. Like, I, I understand some people would probably want it that way, but, you know, for a modern setting... You know, the clothing that everyone's wearing doesn't match a modern setting very well. Uh, except Laura. Hers is the only one that's a, a little bit different. But the aesthetic here is definitely different. He's going for a much more red-ish type color instead of the, the blue and grayish that the Silent Hill game has for most of it. You know, I'm, you know I would, while I would prefer it to be more similar, it's a movie. They want it to be more flashy have more visual flair to it so i get it you know what i mean like it, it red works much better on a movie screen for an other world hellish look and i i get it it's not the same as silent hill 2 but it is what it is but see yeah they're in the see this looks great like they're in the the graveyard and and yeah, see, that's him getting to the bottom of the walkway and going through the forest. Like, all the major stuff is there. Like, you know, I'm actually really surprised. And this is, looks like the apartments. You know what I mean? Like, so I'm, I'm really, I was worried that, I don't know what budget this thing has, but because it didn't have Sony adding to the budget like the first movie did, uh, you know, I don't know how much they have to work with, but it looks like they're including all the major stuff, which is great. Maybe because it was done overseas instead of in Canada, because I can tell you right now, I'm Canadian, the cost of doing anything here is ridiculous right now, so that's probably why they're not doing it here, and I don't blame them. So doing it overseas, they were probably able to save a lot and have all the sets ready to go for a lot of the locations and all that, so. And yeah, they're using dancers for the monsters again, which is, makes sense. They have the same... A uh, guy who did Pyramid Head and uh, the Armless Monster in the first movie, they have him coming back to do some stuff. Now, that's the, that's the other thing that my, my, uh, my kid pointed out to me, the Suave vest. What's with that? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why they added that. Like, it kind of looks weird for James to be wearing that. Like, the undershirt and the jacket would have been perfect, actually, because it, it's green. It's greenish, which is fine by me, you know, like for a more modern version of James, uh, James, I think that works fine, you know, but yeah, I'm not sure what's with the vest. <laughs> yeah. And he's got a locket, which may have a picture of Mary in it instead of like, you know, him holding the tra traditional one. But uh, yeah, that's him looking in the mirror, you know, and that's Maria in uh, the elevator and some gross ass hospital bed. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> And we all know, what, wow, they really got a lot of stuff here. But we all know what this is. Yeah, Heaven's Night. So I don't know if he's actually going to go in or not, but maybe he'll meet Maria there instead of, you know, at the park. Who knows? But yeah, see, yeah, see I think this is Eddie. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure that's going to be Eddie. 
And then Pyramid Head now. I would have wished they got away from the, the industrial look, you know, and kind of went for the more traditional, making it exactly the same as the game for his helmet. It's closer, d definitely. It's like in between the first movie and the game. You know what I mean? It's somewhere in the middle. And at least they didn't make him buff Pyramid Head, but I wish they would have had like the, 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 the glove with like the three, two or three finger look. And uh, I wish the helmet would have been closer, you know. But And I think he's got the the traditional apron like skirt on there, but it's probably dressed up a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah. So he does have like a, some kind of apron skirt type thing on. So that's, that's better than at least the first movie. It's a little more accurate. I think the knife is not quite the same. Whereas the first movie actually was very much the same for the knife. Yeah. That for, I, I love the first movie, despite the differences there were between the story and all that, which I was upset about that on first viewing, you know, I didn't like how they changed the cult more than anything, but, and, and we did get some of the extra locations like, you know, the amusement park and other stuff. But when I took it as its own thing, I, I actually, I actually loved it. Like when I finally got over that and watched it the second time, like, okay, I just took it as its own story, you know, and I, I loved it much more as a result. But for this one, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be the same thing, obviously. You know, like, more of the characters are the same, which is good. That's the important part. Akira's music, thank God, is going to be in it again. That's probably the most important part for me. Uh, so the important bits are all there, it seems. Hopefully he doesn't drastically change too many things. You know, uh, it's not going to be the exact same, but, you know... I, I'm hoping all the major, major bits are there, you know, because it, it, it's going to be pretty cool in the end. It just, it's not going to be a one-to-one. -one. So, yeah, so Return to Silent Hill, we don't know when it's coming out, but I'm pretty damn, I'm pretty happy uh, we're getting that, you know. Like, when we had that announcement that year and a half ago with all the games and all that, the two things I was most excited about is this and the, the remake. So I'm very happy about this because... You know, like, I just, I don't know. I, like, when I saw the first movie, you know, like, once I got over the differences that I was upset about, I actually loved it, you know? So, yeah. And, and if, you, if you can see, this is a, a picture my uh, kid made for me uh, for Father's Day last year, I think it was, you know? So, yeah, obviously that's Maria from Silent Hill 2. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have to have them draw me a new one now because uh, the movie, it's, uh, it's ironic, the movie is closer to the original Silent Hill Marie or Maria, then the new remake game, which changed up her clothing a little bit. It was, so it's interesting. You know what I mean? Like some parts of the movie are more accurate than the game, but then some part of the game is more accurate than the movie. And, you know, so it's, it's interesting. So I'm going to have to have them draw me a new updated version of the, the new remake, you know, because they also made uh, good old Lenny the, the lion figure here, you know, or straight jacket, whatever you want to call it. But, you know, they made this for me as well, so... Yeah, so that's it. You know, like uh, you know, like I, I I take the movies for what they are. I I'm making a a game, a pinball game based on the first movie. You know, I've been working on it for a long time. You know, and I I chose the first movie because it had the e the the better assets to use for audio and video and voiceovers. The story works better in a pinball game of what I'm trying to do. Uh, the monsters had a better selection of what I could animate and use in this pinball game. And the first game had just, well, it's a PlayStation one game. So the assets are terrible. They just look horrible compared to, you know, all the assets from Silent Hill two and three and the monsters that I could use from them to make work. And I like the janitor monster, which is what I added right now is what you could see, you know, and then just different parts of all the games and the movie kind of thrown into one. It's not a one-to-one, -one, obviously. You know, it's it's just my own fan-made fun thing that I did that's based on uh, the first movie. So, you know, that's why the second movie, you know, I'm actually quite excited about it. So it's going to be really fun. So, yeah. So that's all I got to say about that, you know. Uh, hopefully we get some more info coming out uh, on the movie in an actual proper trailer. And uh, maybe it'll be out this year. Maybe it won't be. We'll find out. So anyways, thanks for uh, watching the video, guys. See you later. Bye.